It's the 15 days of bad Christmas movies, and we just got done doing our second round with he the He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. Also, be sure to check out our other great blog vidcasters and podcasters, including the If We Made It podcast at ifwemadeit.blogspot.com. They are reviewing this week Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Check out the Dark Corners YouTube channel. They are doing the Christmas Evil uh, at youtube.com forward slash London Comedy Writers. Also be sure to check out Miss Entropy blog at misentropy.com. They are doing Santa with Muscles and the JT Movie Podcast at jtmoviepodcast.wordpress.com who is doing Black Christmas. So there you go. How are you guys, Sam, Jaggy? I'm uh, very merry. Yeah? yeah? Did you have a good, good He-Man Christmas? <clears throat> it was Eternia. Eternia Christmas? It was eternally terrible. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. Okay. How about you, Sam? It ruined my Christmas already. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's Christmas is going poorly. <laughs> going poorly. <laughs> Not a good start to the holiday season. I didn't think it was Christmas ruining Christmas no, bad. No, it's not ruining Christmas bad. <laughs> no, couldn't think of anything better to say. Like, like, if you say, oh, this has ruined my Christmas, next week you're going to get diagnosed with ball cancer. <laughs> I mean, that's just karma. Uh, this wow, can't... that's harsh. Well, that, this can't be the worst thing that could happen in a Christmas. It's just karma. If you talk sh that bad as shit, like, eh, my Christmas is ruined, something worse is going to happen. I once knew somebody whose house got burnt down at Christmas time mm -hmm. when I was in high school, and I laughed because I hated her. Did she get out of the shower with her pants on at least? Yes. Good, 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 good. I don't even think they were home at the time. Oh, well, that's not near as fun then. But it made my Christmas. I was like, fuck you, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha, you're homeless. <laughs> Jackie's got the spirit of Christmas, everyone. The spirit of vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bitch. <laughs> you know, the, hopefully they don't listen because they would be like, wait, I knew her. <laughs> and my house burnt down on Christmas. I thought she liked me. Yeah. I'm going to go burn her house yeah. down. Which, by all means, please burn this house down. <laughs> we hate this house. <laughs> I hate our stuff. I hate my life. <laughs> um, white people problems. Yeah, white people problems. So, He Man and She Ra. Yeah. This is just an excuse to shell out more toys, in my opinion. Oh, it's like, awesome. I think it's also a another attempt to like try to transfer some fans over to the She-Ra side of things. Yeah, yeah, I do too. There was a lot, it seemed like there was a lot more She-Ra people involved. I didn't recognize yeah, they, a lot of like, these guys. You, yeah, it was like, you haven't been watching this, but look at all these cool people we got in this show. They're all so cool. They're all very fluffy. The She-Ra people. Like, they're all very glittery and bright and rainbowy color. I mean, I understand that it's marketed to girls, but how how are they going to suck more people over from He-Man? I mean, that's just, like, bad marketing. Girls, you... Here's a toy that the boys really like to play with, and now you can play with it, too. Well, why do we need to play with the same toys that the boys do? Can't we have our own freaking toys? Can we be our own... Sex? Why, why do we have to have unification of all our yeah. interests? No, it's uh, it's just Mattel being greedy. So they've already got Barbie. Yeah. So they're trying to, like, go after the tomboys, I or guess. Or is it, well, the He-Man thing failed. Now let's just try to do it with the girls. Maybe the girls like He-Man now. And did He-Man really fail, or did they just be like, you know what, we're making all the money on the toys, why even make, why even spend any of it on this cartoon? Because they quit making it before they quit losing money on the toys. That's true, that's true. But then they rapidly lost money on the toys. Yeah. And I can't imagine that She-Ra made very much money, other than Jackie. I pretty much own every single She-Ra uh, she and He-Man. She-Man. She-Man. <laughs> I, I pretty much own... She-Man from Chicago. Yeah, I, I mean, I pretty much own all the action figures. Do not enter a hallway with, or I mean an alley with She-Man. She-Man! <laughs> She-Man, She-Man. Um, uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> so, did you know anybody else that had She-Ra that wasn't, like, did you have any small friends when you were growing up that had She-Ra? Or was it just you? <laughs> small friends, like, small and relative to her now? No. Or in relative to her then, like, 
Because you have friends that were smaller than you at a young age <laughs> that also like this. I don't care if you knew people that like this. I'm only interested in small people who like this. Either. No, the, the, the neighborhood kids... Did not. They had He-Man and yeah. G.I. Joe action figures, but nobody else had she action figures but me. Everybody, all the other girls had Barbies. And I didn't really like Barbie that much. I just wanted to play She-Ra. <laughs> Jackie, you're so cool. <laughs> you are uber cool, dude. I'm not being sarcastic. That's so... That's so your, in, your sense of individuality is just epic. I love it. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever wanted to come to my house and play. <laughs> <Poor child. laughs> like, are we going to play Barbie? No, we're like, yeah, Shira, I borrowed some action figures from my brother. Yeah, so that's all that Mattel does in this scenario is... It alienates young girls because the boys don't want to play She-Ra, so the girl that likes She-Ra can't play with the boys, and the girls that don't like She-Ra don't want to play She-Ra because they're playing Barbies, so there's just some little poor girl by herself playing She-Ra. Yeah, that that was pretty much how my life went. Which yeah. is at least a better handicap because when I was a child, nobody wanted to play with me because I was a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Not because of toy preference, but because I was a little asshole. <laughs> I could see that about you. <laughs> I was just weird. You were that kid. I did. I did. I remember that I one time <laughs> I invented laser transformers, and the lasers were actually just rubber bands. Oh, so yeah. I would set up. I would set up the transformers like they were about to have a battle. And then I would pick them off with, with rubber bands shot from the location of the other Transformers. And then I would switch sides and shoot back. And if you got hit by the rubber band, you were dead. Well, one time I had a buddy come over and we both decided to play Laser Transformers. And I'm like, it's my turn to shoot. So I peek my head up and I get the rubber band right in the eyeball. Ouch. That yeah, hurt pretty bad. <laughs> I don't think that kid was really your friend. No. <laughs> he was just taking advantage of the situation he there. He also was a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, the movie starts out with... Uh, Before we get into the... Like, it starts out with them at Christmas, but... But not really. Let's, or they're preparing for bullshit. Because <laughs> you can't even really tell if, they're, if it's birthday or Christmas or anything. <laughs> or if it's just... This is the sort of shit that flies around here. <laughs> uh, backstory-wise... Right. Uh, nice. He's... They're twins... And uh, Adam and Shira. Adam and what Adora, is Adora. Adora. Okay. and Adam are uh, twins. <laughs> Where the fuck was she? That's all I was getting at. Okay, the king <laughs> and queen. Okay, there's two scenarios that I see happening here. One, he or she slides out. They like they come out in tandem during mm-hmm. the birth, <laughs> right? And like like a rocket sled. Yeah, and so everybody's like, okay, it came out, and <laughs> then this Hordak guy like, dives and catches one of the babies <laughs> and then steals them forever. Uh-huh. Like, or someone was bad at counting. <laughs> How many babies were there? One. How many is that? It's the right amount? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Or... Well, Hordak was... They, I'll, I'll explain this to you. There what? was an episode about what? it. Let him go All ahead. right, go I ahead. Hear, I want to hear this last scenario. <laughs> or they have a, two babies and then one day one of the babies is missing and they're like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just go on about things. I think you've covered it. I think that's the only things that could be. Jackie, how did it go down? Uh, Hordak actually used to be on uh, Eternia. Uh-huh. And Skeletor was his protege. Okay. And they stole... They, they went in to steal the babies, but they could only get one. So he jetpacked off with Aurora. Adora. Adora. And couldn't get He-Man, or Adam, right? Could only, could only kidnap one kid. Yeah. And then he busted off to Etheria. Or, yeah, Etheria. Yeah, Etheria. So, scenario three. And then they huh. just kind of were like, oh, we're never going to see our kid again. And then, like, you never hear about her in any of the So, yeah, it's the... Someone stole your baby. What? Yeah. Did you say something about cheese sandwiches? Because that's what I heard. <laughs> Good burning. Well, <clears throat> well, they get her back eventually. Not really. Not really. She, she just, just comes up. back to visit and is like, back. you're my parents. These are dicks. <laughs> that's not true. The sorceress sends He-Man 
With the sword of... Tr- After of- that she's an adult and been... Like, isn't, like, Hordak train her to be, like, a minion or something like that? She's, like, King Kickass. Yeah. Of the Hordak. King Kickass. Of the Hordak tribe. Like, she's, like, the chief commander in, in charge of the army or some shit. So after her entire childhood and young adult life has already been ruined... She's got Stockholm Syndrome. He man shows up and is like, so I'm out. You want a cartoon? And she's like, okay. Pretty much. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, these are our parents. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to forget about the last 26 years. <laughs> and they're going to be that like... That was no big deal. Yeah. Like, being brainwashed. What did you do? And then they go, who are you? <laughs> did you say something about a cheese sandwich? Because that's what I heard. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, they're de- decorating the palace. <laughs> the start of this thing. So the bad parents. The bad parents are now putting together a birthday celebration for the twins. Spending Eternia's, the coffers. Yeah, the co- <laughs> opening the coffers, the coffers for <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> and they've got, like, they've got Christmas decorations for this thing. It's not a birthday celebration. It's a well, Christmas. She says something about, like, it's the first Christmas the twins are going to be together. Yeah. It's the first birthday that they'll be together, yeah. But the, it looks like they're celebrating. She men, they don't know anything about Christmas. The queen's from Earth, right? She's from yeah, Earth. She's yeah, she's from Earth. She knows about Christmas, but they they don't know anything about Christmas. It's the rest her little secret. She's like, fuck you guys. Yes, yeah, Christmas is for me, Dickens. <laughs> I, give, <laughs> I give myself a little present every now and then. It's bath time by myself with some candles. <laughs> A tall glass of wine and some Crisker stuff. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. <laughs> so, uh, Adam and Duncan are, are not there currently while they're decorating. They're building the Sky Spy. This, yeah. Which is just a rocket ship. Yeah. Just call it what it is, guys. That only does one thing. Like, it's built... They say that it's so they can spy on Skeletor. How are you going to do that with a rocket ship? That goes into space... And keeps going until it reaches a destination. It is a transport vehicle. That is all. Mm-hmm. There's no payload. There's no satellites inside of it. Nope. It didn't seem to have any cameras on it. No. Just a rocket. Yep. But Orko breaks into it, being a little dick. Yep. He hits a button, or he, he does a magic spell. He rips off the handle. Mag- he does a magic spell, and it takes off. No, he rips off the handle, because he's in there fucking around, playing pilot. Like, you know, when you were a little kid and you used to get in your parents' cars and pretend like you were driving? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's doing that. I'm already bored with this story. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks so, off one of the handles I don't and it want to talk about plane. this. So what the hell is Orko's deal anyway? Why why is he in the show? Because he's Adam's sidekick. But he's he sucks. useless. Well, that's why he has to be in the show. Because what other dipshit's going to steal the spy? Why do you have to have a dipshit in shows? Yeah. Like. Thundercats, the first, like, ten episodes or something, is like, okay, and then some guy's like, Snarf! It's all about the Snarf! We, and, oh! And then all of a sudden, it's a Mission fucking unviewable show. Rescue Snarf again from... Himself. Himself. <laughs> the only way to really rescue Snarf from himself is with a forty-five bullet. Yeah. And, and why does Megatron keep Starscream around? You know? For s- purposes of spooning. <laughs> because no one, he needs somebody to pull the trigger. See, that's at least Starscream has a purpose. He's a little bit of a bitch. He runs away when things look down, or when they even look like they might look down. Like, I'm out. <laughs> like if it's not an overwhelming victory, Starscream's gone. But you know, once a week you turn into a gun, which without someone to pull the trigger <laughs> is not a good transformation. So you need him around. Snarf just gets himself into trouble. Doesn't benefit the team at all. And I Orko. don't think Orko does either. I don't think Orko does at all. Well, he he's now in the rocket. The Sky Spy takes off. Skeletor wants the rocket for some reason. He shows up with his little grabber ship. And then He-Man's like, oh, God, no. we got to stop him. So he flies up there and he stops him real nice. And then Orko crashes on Earth. He, he didn't really stop me. He's like, they punch it. Well, he sure shows he was up. Going. They punch Skeletor's flying Skeletor head. Right yeah. in the engine. There's some things in the that side of it. And then they're like, ah. Oh. So they can't capture Orko. It's got a hole in it. It's yeah. going back to the base. Then an autopilot. Whatever. But then 
Orko does bullshit and gets the thing sent into space. At which point, what is the fucking unicorn's name? Swiftwind. Swift Swiftwind or Swifty. Swifty. His name is Swiftwind. Swiftwind. She calls him Swifty. Yeah, that's his pet name. Okay, I said Swiftwind Swifty. or Swifty. Swifty. Don't lecture me on on the vernacular of Eternia and Etheria. Well, apparently he's a unicorn that can fly in space. Mm-hmm. Space unicorn! And so can He-Man's flying tricycle. That he Wait, she's not a un- Is it a unicorn or a pegasus? It's both. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's got a horn and wings. No, it's... I don't know. What it's it a space unicorn! Pegacorn! It's a flying unicorn. It's a pegacorn. With rocket butt! Well, either way, they can travel in space. Yeah, it farts rainbows! They don't need any helmets or any of that bullshit. And then, yes, Orko ends up on Earth somehow. He's like, Sky Spy, Sky Spy, set me down someplace safe. Yeah. And it takes him to Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. That's awesome. Huh. Uh, there's some kids sledding and pulling a... Well, they're not sledding. They got a, a Christmas tree on their sled and they're on Earth. And uh, Some kids a, with some parents almost as bad yeah, as the right, king and queen of right. Eternia. Hey, go get your own Christmas tree, yeah. god damn it. Risk that, death. You should, and when you do it, go to a, the place that has the most avalanches. Yeah, avalanche row to get your Christmas tree. Hey, it was free, okay? They're poor. Can't afford a tree from the Home Depot. Why is everybody in Christmas time poor? There's always some poor moral. Thing. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Poor that, that's people, when you believe poor in... Poor people are the spirit of Christmas? Giving well, that's, it to them. Well, no, okay. That's who believes in the spirit of Christmas. As peace on Earth and that kind of shit. The rest of us are like, presents! Just yeah. like Porco. <laughs> but if you don't have any presents, and you'd be like, oh, the warm feeling this one day of year gives me. Yeah. Goodwill towards men. Bullshit, dude. It's all about the commercialism. So I didn't have to go to work today. Was Sparkling awesome. lights and presents from people that you don't really like. Unless I work at a major chain. Then I still had to go to work for like four hours. Is Orko the tiny Tim of this story? Yes. I, wait, I thought, no, wasn't the blonde little girl tiny Tim? No, because Orko gets up at the very end. He's like, God bless us, everyone! Whatever the hell he says. Uh, Merry Christmas, fuckheads. He should have... <sighs> He should have died, and Tiny Tim should still be around. God bless you, Tiny Tim. Uh, anyway. And your tiny heart. Your tiny little crippled frog leg. <laughs> Somehow they determined that... The gears! The gears! Nobody knows what you're talking about. Well, Orko saves them from the avalanche. Yeah, so they, uh... Please work! Tell yeah. him about fucking Christmas yeah. for a long time. What? what? Intermittently really throughout the rest of the movie. Yeah. And, uh... Then it is determined somehow by bullshit that they ended up on Earth. And then Man-at-Arms says, well, I do have a transport beam, Mm -hmm. but it runs on water crystals. Right. And there's not any in Internia. And so what he's really saying is, I built a machine that doesn't work (laughs) because I designed it to have a power source that doesn't exist (laughs) Which I have plenty of those too, Man at Arms. <laughs> yeah. I've got a transport beam that works on water crystals. You can't tell me it doesn't until you have a water crystal, right? Yeah. Well, I got a question here. <laughs> yeah. When Orko's explaining to the or the, the kids are explaining Christmas to Orko, the little one, what would you what did you say her name was? Alicia. Alicia mm. says and Miguel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Second marriage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Alicia says, the angel said, peace and goodwill towards men. What angel? That's not a thing, lady. That's fucking Charles goddamn Dickens. Yeah. (laughs) Well, he was an angel. (laughs) Of what? I don't know. (laughs) Angel of death. Yeah, I wasn't real sure what the hell she was talking about either. And then the angel said, what angel? That's not in the Bible. Pay attention! That's just a Christmas carol, you stupid twat. Yeah. So, uh... Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Now she was on the way to get the water crystal. Because there is some She's in Etheria. She's gotta go to Etheria, get a water crystal. She's gotta fight a beast monster. A beast monster. Beast monster. Because it's sitting on top of the water crystal. Well, yeah. Mermista is there to help her. 
Oh, yeah, Mermista. And Mermista has the power to swim faster than a flying goddamn horse. Yeah. Well, why not? Unicorn. Fart rocket. Uh, she gets the crystal after the stupid beast man monster just basically trips. Falls down. Falls down. Ah! Okay, well, that was an epic. Well, that's really the best way to defeat a beast monster, is to do one loose circle around its head. Mm. And then it'll just fall over. Okay. Right. Classic tactics. Yeah. Yep. And then some robots come out of the ground. The yeah. machines. The what? No, the machines no, are the little guys. Fucking so what terrible. were these? The these ro- were just the monstroids. Or the monstroids, yeah. yeah. You're the expert here. Yeah. You've seen this like 80 times. I've already instantly forgotten 90% of it because it was <laughs> tragically bad. I just, I don't like those monstroids. <laughs> They're uh, scary. So the parts that I don't like, I just kind of forget that they're part of the movie. Mm. She move man. On. She was. She, she man. She man. She man. She man does not carry change. So if you want a five dollar tug job, bring exact amounts of money <laughs> or some vodka. Uh, they. Shira doesn't like them either because she says, and I quote. These robots transform into other things. Well, I, I, okay, I don't exactly quote. I'm paraphrasing. They transform into other f- devices. That makes them evil. Yeah. Those evil robots. And Switchwind can talk. Because he's like, there are evil robots, she Evil because they can transform. Yes. Yeah. Eerily similar to something else no. just like them. Yeah. That is from a different company. That's evil. Evil, do not, do not buy, buy these. Evil robots that, that transform. transform. I don't get it. That's fucking propaganda, man. Yeah, they're saying don't buy Transformers. <laughs> buy this bullshit instead. <laughs> buy our We've got... Manchines. Mermista. <laughs> She's not going to be fun to play with. <laughs> She lays on rocks. Yeah, she lays on rocks. She was awesome. She you had... can shake her at people <laughs> when you are angry. <laughs> Mermista would be the first to get hit with a lazy rubber band. <laughs> yeah. But then she wouldn't go down because she's got such a good base laying on her side like that. She's just, she's, just, she's the kind of gal that can take him in the face all night. <laughs> Mermista. Her rubber she bands, man. that yeah, is. Rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> not anything. Hey, the it. action figure, her, her fin came off and she had human legs underneath it. Oh! Did she ever have human legs in the cartoon? Yeah. Hmm. Fish man, fish man. Um, so, Man at Arms turns on some beam now that he's got the, the water crystal, the, tra- oh, yeah. the transport beam. Whatever. Oh, he was like, oh shit, I hope this thing actually works! <laughs> Never try it! <laughs> Oh, I was just saying something out loud. So that it wasn't my fault, right? Oh, crap. <laughs> it scrambled their insides. <laughs> Dear God, what have I done? <sighs> well, the kids, the kids, it's the teleportation beam. But here's what my problem is with this stupid thing. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm among other. <laughs> so the kids are all like, "Oh, Orko, we're scared of this glowing light yeah. thing inside the rocket ship that they're hanging out with. That's got a floating ghost magician inside yeah. of it. But you're not scared of any of that crap with glowing ears. things." Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Well, Orko convinces them to get into the glowing thing, which well, first take teleports any convincing. them. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, "Step into the light." Yeah, yeah, he's like, "Grab my hands and step into here." They get teleported at, immediately, but then all of a sudden the ship also gets teleported. So why, so why did they even... And the Christmas tree that was outside. Oh, Jesus. Why did they even have to go into the light? Why did anything... She just transported it back without any of that. Just suck Orko out. You don't need the kids. Well, hey, you want the ship back because that shit costs money. <laughs> you already spent, you know... Sky Spy. How many Can't build another thousand? one of those that don't actually do anything. <laughs> Attorney of bucks on the goddamn party that looks like it's going to be terrible. <laughs> well, they're they're now on Attorney, and the kids are explaining what Christmas is again to everybody, and Orko's being a little dipshit. Then everybody knows who Santa is. Mm-hmm. But as soon as as soon as they enter the Eternia Etheria. Uh, 
do what are those called? Bi systems, binary systems, <sighs> where there's two planets, whatever. I don't know, dorking out like in <clears throat> Star Wars. Um, Horde Prime is pissed because there's kids. The the sense of Christmas has been brought into Eternia and e- Etheria. This this spirit of good good times and joy and being nice, and he doesn't like it. Yeah. It's icky to well, him. I thought he was just going to steal it because you could, like, use it to power his evil. Good he time, also has a transportation joy. machine that requires Christmas spirit from two small Earth children. But who knows if it works because he's, he's never, never had tried two it, of them. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were being serious. Like, that was the plot that I missed or something. I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> No, but oh. Sam wouldn't know about this part of the movie because I think this part is when no, he's asleep. No, he's still he's still awake at this. No, point. I only fell asleep for about three minutes. Um. So why did you, you you're saying he? So why does he care if he's not just grumpy about there, there's nice things? Why? How is he going to use? He's evil. How is he going to use good for evil? Why can't he just get He Man then and She Ra because they're good, right? It seems like. Well, these two kids don't have a fucking flying horse or a battle cat. So fuck those so guys. So they're just easy pickings? Yeah. Hmm. Nobody knows the answer. Okay. Uh, so then Hordak's ship shows up and to get the kids. Because, oh, uh, Horde Prime says, You, Hordak and Skeletor, must go nab them for my evil... And purposes. you'll be rewarded greatly. Yeah, so they fly out. Hordak's got a real nice dong ship. I don't know how gay that the gets. Dong copter. Dong copter. Bows down there, strumming away. Well, okay, that's where we gotta pause the plot for. This bow fellow, what's his deal? <laughs> yeah, what's his deal? He's in love with Shira. Yeah, uh-huh. she was in love with the pirate guy. Why is Bo dressed like guy. Freddie Mercury? Because <laughs> he's the only dude in town. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I think he's seriously he's the only male figure in Eternia mm. or Etheria. Mm-hmm. Who's the pirate that she's in love with? Captain Somebody. Is he in Etheria? Yeah, he's um. And he's male. Yeah, but he's a pirate. He's not part of the resistance. He's he's a space pirate or whatever. So there is other males in Eternia. Yeah, but... It's not part of She-Ra's hangout club. Yeah. So you're saying this guy that's dressed like Freddie Mercury that likes to hang out with ladies all the time. And he's got a mustache. And he's got a mustache. And there is other men... He also has a horse. ...who are pirates. Uh, So he's got a heart on his chest, and he shoots arrows. Yeah. Does he have, like, any Cupid bullshit powers? No. Oh. But he does ride a horse. Uh, his his action figure came with a horse. Hmm. Or I think you had to buy the horse separately, but yeah. He seems pretty gay to me. Yeah, so, him and Perfuma yeah, yeah. are hanging out. So he's, he's always struck me as a character who has the downs. Well, he's wailing on the ute, <laughs> yeah. or the loot, and she's changing the weather in a ten square foot area. <laughs> she's decorating with flowers. Decorating the flowers. But there are already flowers. Perf- they don't even need to be decorated. Her perfume powers. Yeah, it's, it's putting flowers into places. She's oh. putting the sex panther out there. Mm-hmm. So, so maybe, I don't know. Help me out here. There's... <clears throat> love no, and not caring. Not that. Oh. No. no. We don't need that. Um, we all know about the homoeroticism innuendos inside the He-Man universe. Well, you notice that uh, he didn't really get very homoerotic in this one. I don't know about that. Well, he, not, he was less than oh, usual. Oh, He-Man. No, 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 no. That's fine. He-Man's not so homoerotic. But the penis ship yeah. has a laser on the end of it. <clears throat> and Bo's pretty, uh, pretty gentle, light, one might say. He then gets frozen... And the freeze on him looks like spooch. It's like he's a glazed donut all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he gets bow cockied. 
only there would have been like four or five helicopters shooting him at once. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So too many <laughs> helicopters. <laughs> never, never too many. So the Hordak gets the kids in his Dongcopter, and uh, the, then then the the robots show up and they take the kids from Hordak. Mm-hmm. The the monstroids. Well, once they get taken, then doesn't Shira and He Man decide that they need she need, they need to talk to. Who is this? Pika Blue. Pika Blue. Pika Blue. Who's a peacock lady that can see things? Yeah, she she tells them that they are imprisoned by the monstroids, the children. Well, the 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 manchines, which are not men, show up. nor are they really machines. They're they're like the cheap freaking toys that you pay a quarter for out of the little churn style vending machines. You remember yeah. those little candy dispensers? Yeah, that you get they still toys have those sometimes. Yeah. Quarter. Qu- those things were worth a quarter. If anybody paid any more for a quarter for one of those goddamn manchines, you're a moron. I don't think that the man- they ever made the manchines. Oh, thank God. They sucked. Real stupid. Oh, they show up and rescue the kids. Sort of. They get trapped again, but not really, because He-Man... Cutter and Zipper rescue them. He-Man shows up and does some stuff, and then She-Ra shows up and also does some stuff. And she turns her sword into a lasso. Yeah. Yeah, dude, she's been doing that, like, the whole time. Sword to lasso! Well, this is early on in the She-Ra business. <laughs> so then Skeletor shows up and he's got the kids. He yeah. has the kids on his little Skeletor sled. Then, rocket that's sled. That's right when you start realizing that Skeletor's a bit of a softy. Yeah. Because well, they're like, oh. He gets shot down by Hordak. They crash out in the, out in the snowy. snowy. And yeah, so he, he uses his magic to give them jackets. jackets. <laughs> <laughs> they're cold. And then he's going to leave the dog out there to and die. But that's when the dog falls in love with him. Yeah, and he falls in love with the dog. Any dog is going to fall in love with Skeletor. His face is made of bones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dogs are like, he's fuck tasty. yeah, dude. Maybe it's just a mask, and he actually looks like Bo. No, his... <laughs> he's, got, he's got a mustache. His <laughs> face was burned off in an accident involving liquid. You know that for a fact? Yes, he got... He got sprayed in the face with some acid during a fight, and it melted off his facial features. That's why his only his face is made out of bone. I can believe that. All right. <laughs> why is he blue? <laughs> I'm not real sure. <laughs> Are those tights? Or is he just blue? He's just blue. He's just blue? Because his boobs are blue and shit. Yeah. His well, abs I mean, and That's crap. what I mean. He could just be wearing body... Like, Man at Arms isn't green. Isn't he? No, he's just a suit. Yeah, Man at Arms got a suit on. You know, well, he's the half-brother of King Randor. Who's to say so, that Skeletor is not wearing tights? Full-body tights? Man-at-Arms is doing it. No, because you can see Skeletor's nipples. Can you? Yeah. And his balls. They're really blue. All right. <laughs> he's got blue balls. It's because he doesn't have five penis helicopters. <laughs> Bo is in a different country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, Hordak shoots him down, he's got the sense of the Christmas, he's getting infected by the kids, because now he wants to know about Christmas, and so they tell him about Christmas. Then some snow beast shows up, and Skeletor protects him from it. Kids <laughs> behind me! That's when Sam fell asleep. Yeah. We have made it 30, this is, will be our 34th mo- movie that we have reviewed. None of us have fallen asleep until this one. <laughs> you you have entered a dark world, sir. <laughs> it was real tough to stay awake. This was so boring and you know, stupid. We, it was only 45 minutes. Jesus. We could have been watching the Cowboys and the Giants. <laughs> Eli I Manning would have stayed awake during that. <laughs> oh, terrible. So, uh, then Hornack shows up <laughs> again. And so does He Man and She Ra. Horn Prime shows up. Everybody shows up on some place. 
Skeletor's yep. there, he's got the kids. Uh, they all make it to the same place for their final epic battle. Yep. And then uh, Horde Prime sucks up the kids in his machine <coughs> thing, but Skeletor says no and shoots it and he I betrays don't know his what's master. Come over me. Yeah. <laughs> then He Man tosses Horde Prime into space. So is Horde Prime a guy or is he a ship? Or is he a guy ship? Like, what's his deal? I've never really, I've never been able to really know what the hell Horde Prime is. I never even is. heard of Horde Prime before this stupid thing. He's, I, you know, I want to say that he's like machine. Yeah. So is he so, more evil than Skeletor? But they never really show See, Horde Prime. I think that that was one of the things where they're, like, how they're trying to make she cool. Like, well, her bad guy is, like, tougher than Skeletor. And there's a bad guy even on top of him. Mm-hmm. These are all the real heavy lifters. <laughs> We're not going to bring He-Man in on this, though. No. We don't need him. No. She-Ra, she's got it under control. She's more tough than anything. Yeah. She's got a horse that turns into a unicorn Pegasus thing. Well, they send the kids back after a little Christmas celebration. Skeletor learns the true meaning of Christmas, and he doesn't like it. It's icky to him. Mm-hmm. The yeah. end. Mermella shows up to the party. Now, we this is that. interesting. We're missed up. Whatever. <laughs> so, I don't see... So you said she has human legs in the show? Sometimes? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, why... Why is she sitting there as a mermaid at yeah, the end? I don't know. Because it makes me think that somebody had to, like, drag her ass out of the lake. <laughs> and then just <laughs> set her in the middle of the party. And she can't go anywhere. <laughs> Gives so her a just, cocktail. Like, ah! So she has to be like an epic conversationalist. Otherwise, she's just laying there by herself the whole time. People so are sitting like, on her. One guy, like Bo's going to have too many eggnogs. And he's going to be like, Shira doesn't like me. Just try to steal a quick one while she's not looking. And he goes over there and he tries to talk to her. And she ends up just like, oh, God. God damn it. And then he just like sort of leaves. Just walks off, and then she's back by herself again. <laughs> it is kind of an awkward party. Mm-hmm. Yes. So things that I learned about... Well, okay, here's my first question. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid... Oh, okay, we're, I guess we're moving on to questions and answers. Okay. Well, we forgot about the... They got back to Earth. I said the, send oh. the kids back. And oh, the and parents they have, their parents like, are stupid. Well, I was... They were like... We we got these flying belts. And mm-hmm. they're like, oh, we don't know where you got those. Mm-hmm. Pieces of Whatever. shit. Go to bed. They didn't notice that they had these really nice new jackets either. No. Because no. they're poor. Where do you get those nice new jackets? You know, sometimes when it's a parent, you just don't ask. How does Skeletor know anything about jackets? Coats? Kid, children's coats? He doesn't coats. seem to know much about clothes to be used. Wearing gloves, a hood, yeah. and underwear. <laughs> and boots. You yeah. your feet to get raw. I've never here. seen anybody on Eternia wearing a coat. How does Skeletor know shit about coats? Anyways, all right. Questions and answers. There's there's my first question. How does Skeletor know anything about coats? Nobody has an answer. Jackie, what's your question? So where do you guys think that they landed when Orca landed oh, on Earth? Canada. It's snowy Actually, there. when you see the dad at the end... And the mom, I think they landed in Jersey. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. The dad is wearing a bad Christmas sweater. And he's got a mustache, and he's pretty portly. Yeah. Yeah. And he's married out of his league, New Jersey. So if, they, if they're if from she's New the Jersey... One, they'd like, he's married out of his league until she opens her mouth. Yeah. You're like, nope, that's a good match. It's a good match right there. That's typical Jersey people. Jersey. Um, so where did the kids go to get the trees? Like, is that how bad of parents they are? Where in Jersey, you got to go to freaking upstate New York to get to get goddamn Christmas tree? Yeah. Walk? Walk to Connecticut. <laughs> There's trees there. <laughs> and avalanches. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, anyway. Um, so, go ahead. More questions? And you notice that maybe this is not much of a question, but, okay, so they're explaining the thing about Christmas to mm, Orko. Right. And they're, like, talking about presents, and they just keep going back to the presents. Right, presents. And then at the very end... <laughs> When they're having that, you know, final thought with Adam and Orko. Mm-hmm. In, his, in Adam's study. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His reading room. It just goes right back to presents yeah. again. It's like, thanks for having the spirit of Christmas. 
But it's all about the presents. And don't forget to ask your mom and dad for more action figures. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then, no, you never mention Jesus at any point. No. Because you need to sell these toys to everybody. Mm-hmm. They even say that. Christmas is... Or not everybody celebrates Christmas. But the true spirit of it, everyone can take a part in. Which is buying presents. Yeah. Kids. Mermista. So, that's um, what you should buy. Yeah, you should go get Mermista and a fucking Mansheen right now. Uh, so, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask my question. I'm going to ask this at the end of every movie, of course. Uh, does this movie capture the true spirit of Christmas? No. Jackie? Oh, I don't know. I'm really commercialized, so I'm going to go with yes. It is all about the presents, people. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye, bye That's bye, right. Bye. Like, you know what? It's a little bit about Karen. Karen? Like, Karen the person or caring? Caring. It's a little <laughs> bit about caring and, you know, recognizing that, yeah, peace on earth, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Where's my fucking gift? <laughs> and so I thought that this movie captured that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's the true Christmas spirit, so I'm going to say no, this movie does not. It, it gets close when Skeletor gives him the jackets, though. Yeah, yeah, almost. Skeletor's almost. redemption. Mm-hmm. But, but oh, it's even actually worse, because they say, don't worry, Skeletor, Christmas only comes one time a year, so you only, it's okay for you to be a dickhead 364 days out of the year, that's your thing, bro, but you have to be one, nice, just this one day. Just this one day. It's not, you should be good all the time. Well, they kind of made it sound like it was some kind of disease. Yeah. Like, eh, you bastard. (laughs) So my second question. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have one, Sam? I I have one, but go ahead. Uh, My second question is, is this worse than Masters of the Universe? No. It's shorter. (laughs) (laughs) And that helps a lot. I think it is. I, I, I don't think so. I enjoyed Masters of the Universe a shitload more than this thing. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Well, at least I knew who the fuck the characters were. Not like, who's that lady running around in the silver Tila? But Masters Tila's of... Tila's not even in this goddamn thing! Yeah, Masters of the Universe lost the true spirit of He-Man because you can't sell Kevin. <laughs> That's right. You cannot sell Kevin. Kevin and his action band. <laughs> yes. He's got a keyboard. <laughs> Kevin's in a band. <laughs> Kevin the Ben Man! <laughs> what are you doing, kids? We're playing with Kevin, <laughs> the kid you don't want us to grow up and become. We're practicing what not to do as adults. <laughs> <laughs> So, speaking of, there's, that's another question for me. All right. Where the fuck is, is Tila? She's in there for a minute. Is she in yeah. the party? She's good. No, it's uh, when they are. Uh... When they find the book of Orcas. The what? Huh? What? Different <laughs> different movie, dude. When they find Orko's book oh. by the launch pad. Oh. Yeah, when they're looking and the for queen, everybody. And Tila and uh, Adora come in with the book, and they're like, hey, we got a problem. We think Orko might have been on the jet. Does Tila have any lines? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So she is in the movie. She kind of seems underutilized, though. Like, hey, we already tried this with you girls. Don't worry about her. Yeah, Buy like, this new one. Tila doesn't have long flowing hair. Yeah. Well, she does. She just buns it up because she knows how to kick ass. <laughs> the long hair flowing around. You need to get, to grab it and ragdoll you off a cliff. Somebody's going to toss your head right into a wall. Yeah. If you're, like, flying your horse and there's a jet and your hair gets stuck in the <laughs> intake. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Third share of this week. <laughs> End of She Man. She Ra. She Man. <laughs> she Man. <coughs> <coughs> I'm pretty sure the end of She Man was a scorching case of the <laughs> FC. <laughs> okay, hey. Sam, what do you got? Okay. What does anybody want in this show? <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> that's sort of like the thing for motivating characters. It's like what do they want? <laughs> <laughs> so, this, uh, this, who's this new villain that's a giant robot, maybe? He <laughs> wants something? Horde Prime. Yeah, Horde they were going to try to kill Horde Prime. Well, okay, what is, what is, the kids. What Who is was going to kill Horde okay, Prime? Okay, wait, let's start with, what does Horde Prime want? 
<laughs> do not die. <laughs> but he doesn't. So, like, in, to accomplish that, he puts himself in a situation where people are going to shoot at him and punch him. Yeah. Like, what is he going for? Like, why? What's... World domination by the evil Lord Prime. <laughs> he wants to be Hitler. He seems like he's already got it done. Yeah, he's pretty powerful. He wants to be Lord of the Universe. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, what does Skeletor want? To reward. Well, before that. Because he's involved before he there's any Christmas or reward. Spy. He wants the Sky Spy. Which he didn't even know there was one. No. He's, he's already flying. Like, he is... Yeah, the just, ship that's better than the ship he's going after. Yes, he's in a ship. Before that thing's even taken off, he's already flying around. <laughs> I needed that. What did he want when he was that. doing that? Why? What was his... Purpose to be in the air at that point. I want it all. He's spying on people. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe. He was <laughs> grocery shopping. I don't know. They ran out of milk, so they had to go to the store. Hmm. <laughs> Did... what okay. Else, what else you got, Sam? <laughs> what do the people of Eternia want? What do the kids want? The kids wanted a Christmas tree. <laughs> When you want to go home? <laughs> they don't like it here! Well, it seems like they had a pretty short visit. <laughs> well, less than 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, they, weren't very, they weren't there very long. <laughs> Alright. Is that all you got for me? Us? Jaggy? And Sam? Well, I mean, we can... What do the machines want? No, we can just do that for... E <laughs> what do I want to not talk about this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, recommendations. Jaggy, we know what you're going to say. Do it. I love this movie as a kid. I love it as an adult. Who is the target market that you're saying do it to? Who are you speaking to when you say watch this? You'll like it. Because kids are used to better cartoons <laughs> yeah. than this. Kids aren't going to like it. Adults aren't going to like it. Who is going to like this? Jackie? People who like unicorns. <laughs> Oh, and that's true. People who like mermaids and people who like arenas, peacock women, pika blues, and manly men with mustaches or metal penis helmets. His man at arms has a penis helmet. It's even got a stripe, like he's got a. <laughs> <laughs> he can eject things through the top of it. He's, he, man at arms is a dickhead. <laughs> yep. Literally. Yeah. You know what? There are all kinds of people that would just love this. Oh, <laughs> I just and you know what? Fuck you guys. This is a great movie. You know what? Mark Montana is going to take my side on this one. All right. So you like it? Are you seriously recommending it? Like yeah. you're going to look me in the eye and tell me that people that aren't you are going to like this? That they should watch it because they will enjoy it. <laughs> Skeletor says to watch this movie No, do not Avoid it, it is bad It does not get the spirit of Christmas You can no longer buy these toys So it Yes you can on eBay own. Yeah, you can buy used toys You can buy ones that are still in the package From yeah. Amazon for like 250 bucks Mattel's not making any money off of it So uh, Defeats its own purpose Yeah well, I'll play devil's advocate here. I don't think you should watch it, but we'll say that it's really not a lot worse than most of the other Christmas crap that's on. Mm, okay. You know, vers grading it versus its peers, it's about the same. Like Charlie Brown Christmas? Or no, no, Charlie Brown like Christmas is a goddamn screen Christmas. gem. I didn't even know if they did that. I don't know. What, what are you comparing it to that. then? Like the stuff that's on ABC Family Channel for the next month. Oh, like, like all of the filler ones that yeah. like they've got a good Virginia, one. Virginia, there is a Christmas. Sure. Well, okay. The Macy's little redhead girl. Macy's developed a character, and they made a uh, movie about it. Oh. About this little girl named Virginia who wants to know if there's really such a thing as Santa Claus. And so they had this movie called Yes. Isn't Virginia, that Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street? And no. they put Santa on trial. Yeah. No. This is not the same movie. <laughs> it sounds a lot like it. It probably is, but 
I, th- I think I watched it last year, but I fell asleep halfway through. So <laughs> it wasn't That's... very good. But Macy's has also gotten on this because now they have Virginia that they advertise every year in the store. And they have the Santa Claus set up and the letters that you can send to Santa Claus on the Macy's paper. And I think we should just leave Virginia alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's not like you or me. <laughs> okay. Is that all we got? Do it, do it, do it. What's your key she wrote? We made it to 50 minutes. I think that's good enough. Well, it's five minutes longer than the damn movie we just watched. Get to the dong chopper!